You're listening to Enclave Radio. I am John Henry Eden, President of the Enclave, President of America, President of your heart. Welcome! We're back in Old World Blues. But not just Old World Blues. See, today we're playing Old World Blues with Enclave Reborn submod. And a submod to that submod, Enclave Plus. Because that's what you voted for in the poll on the channel. So let's get to it, shall we? Enclave. Select country. We're north of New Reno, and we own the Sierra Army Depot, which is uh, a location in Fallout 2. A very cool location there. Now, Enclave was an option for New Reno in Old World Blues previously. It was removed and then re-added by the mod. Right, some of you are new to this, so Old World Blues is a full conversion mod for Hearts of Iron 4. That brings it into the world of Fallout. We played as New Vegas, we played as New California, now it's time for the Enclave. And the Enclave are the bad guys of Fallout 2 and Fallout 3. Although I much prefer the Fallout 2 Enclave, because they're very scary. In it. I'm not going to turn on Iron Man mod because it's a mod, and in mods I do like to have backup saves. We will turn on historical focuses and average difficulty. Right, let's get to it, shall we? Let's find out what the Enclave in this mod is all about. I'm going in blind, I have not tested this, I have not read about the details of this. All my knowledge of the Enclave actually comes from the Fallout games, which I played extensively. All of them, except for 76, which I haven't played at all. Ah, the Pip-Boy interface. Now, when I'm playing this mod, I am increasing the size of the game interface to 2.5, scaling at my 4K resolution, because otherwise it's uh, mostly unreadable. Normally I play at 2 times magnification, but that's mm, hardly important right now. We start north of New Reno. Why are we here? Well, in Fallout 2, Enclave actually traded with the Salvatore family of New Reno, so their presence here is unjustified. And what is the Enclave? It is the remnants of a US government from before the war. They are rather fanatical and very technologically advanced. As you can see, we have guys in power armor, and we are really good at power armor stuff. And we start with the technology to build advanced power armors, which are amazing. So yeah, we're going to be doing all power armor stuff, once we can afford it, because we only have two civilian factories right now. Well, let's put them to use immediately, with the sneaky bastards. Okay, okay, that could work. Doesn't seem very enclave, does it? Oh, we are well, the remnants of the United States government, aren't we? So it's going to be the CIA, why not? And let's take the Eagle, forming agency. Now, we only have this many focuses. I'm pretty sure a new focus tree will open up once we do these, because those are those very short ones that let you establish history. So let's not wait and do that. We remember Navarro. Now, Navarro was a vertebrate refueling station belonging to the Enclave that's uh, here. Here's Navarro. And it's a location in Fallout 2. And we have four research slots, which is pretty good. Now, we're going to be using power armor extensively. We already have advanced power armor, which is... Uh, better than anything you can normally research. Let's look at our troops. What weapons do I need? We need infantry equipment and power armor for this, and that's all of it. Right, so we're gonna be researching infantry equipment and power armor and industry and such. First, research boosts, work assignments, some tools. Now, what infantry weapons do we have? Now, we already have advanced lavers of rifles researched, and this is very much ahead of time. Now, I've been told in my previous videos that riot gear and dogs are really good for keeping the peace. We might want to do that, but we definitely need doctrine research. So yeah, let's do this. Concentration of force. And we start with five units, four of which are in full power armor, which is excellent. We can probably take out a smaller nation right off the bat, like, say, Modok. Have any troops? Yeah, I can just kill those, probably. But let's wait for our initial focuses. Oh, we can exchange stability for political power. Well, that's actually a huge stability cost, so yeah, it's probably never worth it. Let's unpause and speed the game up. Enclave, here we go. Also, do we have commanders? Yes, and we have a lot of those, actually. Major General Grimm, purist, agile, level 5. Sure, excellent. And this guy, Jack Churchill. He's gonna work out great for us, I think. We do own Sierra Army Depot, which is... Uh, is it going to let us do anything special? Well, not at the moment, but eventually, probably. Let's make sure our country is stabilized first. What do we have? All right, cool. Research speed. Portugal and fighting will get rid of that. Complete chaos will get rid of that. Protected by Sierra Army Depot. Surrender limit plus 100%. Okay, so we can just... We have our headquarters in the Sierra Army, Sierra Army Depot base. That's actually pretty good. Right, the last bastion of freedom. What did we do? We escaped from Navarro to the Sierra Army Depot. What did we do? We fought our way out with power armor, that would sacrifice manpower, or we escape using vertebrates. 
and get 100 units of transports and gunships. Or we escaped before the fighting got bad. Actually, manpower is pretty hard to come by. But if we get three divisions of Enclave's veterans, that will actually uh, vastly increase our initial military power. So I think I'll go with that. Yeah, let's do that. We fought our way out with Palaana. Show me those units. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a lot of power. Yes, definitely worth it. Good choice, I think. Yeah, we've already played this bit. We even have some ball gaps, which will not be important, I think. Our soldiers never die, right? Our guy Donan hid in the Vault City. Let's see what outcome there is. And Donan is our current leader. We suddenly are very militarily powerful. And those are the initial units we had, but the ones we received, the new ones, actually have a much bigger template, so that's even better. And they're veterans, and they have power armor and laser rifles, which is actually excellent. I think we'll be able to conquer New Reno with those, and get the trade node to get the money, but first we stabilize the country. I'm, I'm excited about this. See, I, I really like the Enclave in Fallout 2. In Fallout 3, they're a bit stupid. Uh, but in Fallout 2, I really did like them. If only they were not so genocidal, they could have ruled the entire wasteland and taken over the NCR. Also, just never die, so. But here's Donan under the name of Chad Rano, hid among Vault City. Right, this is just flavor, so there's no choice here. So where did I put my power armor? What did he do with that power armor? We can get political power or stability and war support. Is stability going to be easy to get? If we reduce production shifts, where is that? Uh, reduce administrative shifts, weekly stability 2% for 100 political power. That's 17.6 stability for 100 political power, which means political power is actually worth more. Let's get political power. We were not ready for revenge, we wanted a future. Next up, sons and daughters of liberty. By the way, can I justify war goals? Yes, I can. Should I? No. I'll wait until we unravel the mysteries of our focus tree. I don't even have military factories, so we'll have to act quickly. And we have no money. Well, if I conquer New Reno, that will help. My guy gets sick. Not a problem. He'll get better. Wait a minute. A new generation of America. Wait, yeah, what's that? In the lair of the bear. Okay, we can hide our activities from the NCR. I do have the political power, and if NCR is not aware... Wait a minute... I don't have the caps for this. Maybe I will. Oh, it's an event, so it will happen on its own. I don't need to take a decision to hide my activities, I think. That's fine. Whatever. Elites or intellectuals? I think we'll go with intellectuals, because the Enclave's major failing was acting like uh, they're better than everyone else and just antagonizing everybody. If they worked more subtly, and without the intention to wipe everyone out, they would probably be the dominant force. Next up, calling all Enclave. Yeah, let's uh, go through them one by one. Although, maybe we should do this one first. Yeah, let's go one by one. Calling all Enclave. Ah, hide activities from the NCR. Okay. Yes, we definitely want to do that. NCR shall be unaware of our existence. I'll increase stability, but not just yet. I'll probably be hiring this guy for political power. Ah, we can wait. The Sierra Enclave. What do we get? Can get extra command power or extra political power. I will take the political power. It is more useful. And we get command power anyway. Never let the old flag fall. That will remove complete chaos, right? And we have this CIA ready. Don't really have the caps to expand the agency, but at least we'll get an operative soon. Oh, and I can build stuff. Well, get the infrastructure and some civilian factories. We don't have any military factories, actually, but we have a very big initial army. Well, by the standards of this mod, it's big. Eight very high-value units. We would probably take out Mr. House right now if we were next to him. Never let the old flag fall. I don't really know what to choose. In both options, we get political power. We can get transports and gunships, or we can get ERB Survivor, whatever that is, and Lauren Quixote Kelly. I think I'll choose this one just because I don't know what I get. Maybe it's something good. Let's uh, never forget our past. We'll get extra stability. Oh, that's what we got. That's uh, the Auxiliaries, a lost American army, so that's just infantry. Ah, that's her, Lauren Quixote Kelly. We could outfit her as the regular infantry leader, while we make this guy the power armor leader. That could be better. Right, that's a lot of political power. I'll make good use of it, but let's wait for the events first. I don't know when I might need some. Like, for example, to hide from the NCR, which we'll have to do for a while. Washington Brotherhood conquered someone. It's fine. Extra manpower. Never forget our past, we got the technology military heritage. Let's see what it gives us. It's one of the unique ones, isn't it? Oh, unlocks access to this. Past victory, division, organization, reinforce rate. Yeah, that's good. 
It's pretty good. We'll have to research those. Now, better call Sal. Someone from New Reno. Sure, let's get more allies. And then we can take over New Reno. Probably justify will go on, but I want to see the focus tree first. Our old allies. Oh, that's a scene from Fallout 2 where you can guard an exchange between the Salvatores and the Enclave. I actually replayed Fallout 2 very recently and uh, I killed them all at the exchange because I was betraying Mr. Salvatore and took all their equipment. But I digress. So, what can we get? Wow! Extra research slot, or we get a Salvatore Scientist research speed 5%. Um, an extra research slot is worth much more than extra 5%. Unless, of course, there's a maximum amount of research slots, but I don't think so. I, I think I had like 6 or 7 as Mr. House, I don't remember. So, yeah, bring them in. Extra research slot, excellent. Let's do past victories. Now, our choice. We will choose a new president. Lanius is... Lanius? 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 Linus, his cohort, is attacking people. Our choice. Who do we pick? Frankson, Franklin Anderson or Douglas Granite? I don't know. I don't know what this entails. I'd like to have a look at the focus tree, but I have to choose blind, which is unfortunate. But I think I'll go with the reformers, because purists... I mean, Enclave failed because it was acting the way it was acting. If it was more like NCR, more uh, diplomatic and less strong arming people, it probably would have gone much differently for them. So I'm gonna support Douglas Granite. Granite? Granite? Granite. Does he have any special things? Kind of Granite Company. We'll see. Did I make the good choice? I have no idea. Well, we did make our choice. Our president. Let's see if finishing the reform thingy gives us more bits of the focus tree. Sins of the Father. Do we want to get mutant sympathies or will support instability? Actually, non-core manpower seems nice. Let's do that. Douglas's youth. He either knew all enemies of America must be communist or he spent his class playing in the pit boy. Uh, sure, let's go anti-communist. It's gonna be fun. Douglas's first contact. Douglas was a lieutenant of the Grant Defense Company. He received an emergency distress signal. The message sounded desperate and came from Brotherhood Knights. Well, the Brotherhood doesn't really like the Enclave very much. Caesar Scouts or NCR? Can we ally with the Caesar temporarily? No, he's too far. Let's, let's see if the NCR Battalion can unlock some political decisions with the NCR or something. Douglas is a decision. We either helped them take out the Raiders or we wiped them out to make sure nobody tells anyone. Just for World War Time seems nice. But I think we'll benefit more from the extra compliance. And this will give us a connection with NCR. Maybe we can be at peace with the NCR. That would be interesting. I'm going to try this. I helped them take down the raiders. So they know not all NCR is bad or something. And we reform. Actually, you know what? This is taking a long time. I'm actually going to justify my war goal on New Reno. I'm pretty sure I can take them out. And when we take the node, that should give us a lot of income. So, New Reno it is. And we can get an operative. Let's take this girl. Go to Reno. I'm gonna hire... Where is he? The corrupt sycophant. Increases political power in exchange for conspicuous factories. Political power is extremely important. Reform. Lament for... Oh. Oh. Can see what's down there. Okay, I'll be able to click them from here. Yeah, I increased the interface too much, probably. A lament for reform. We can get political power or command power. I will choose political power, of course. Legitimacy tutorial. Oh! This is our legitimacy as the government of the United States, isn't it? You can keep those in mind, or get political power and lose legitimacy. I don't know how to increase legitimacy. Let's um, start by increasing it by 5%. Boost research. And I'm going to research trained mongrels, because reportedly, uh, companies with dogs are very good for suppressing resistance. All right, what did we open? Infiltrate the NCR. That's what we have opened up. That's actually going to be very useful, I think. We can do... Maybe we can take half their stuff from under them. What is my support? Or the reformer faction? And we're actually losing support. We can combat that and we will probably have to. Enclave radio. That's gonna be fun. But infiltrating the NCR now will waste some of this suspicion decrease. Now, can we get rid of political infighting? We could try and purge uh, the opposition. That will purge p purist advisors. Alternatively, we can do a victory speech for stability in Port Capa. I don't really want to purge people. Sure, let's do the victory speech. Maybe I won't need to if I just give uh, higher guys that increase intellectual support. I could do that. Although political infighting is pretty bad. Ah, see, this is increasing purist faction support. Let's find the reformer guy. We'll get more support for intellectuals. We're still losing? Yes. 
will also replace Navarro veterans with either Podcon Indoctrination or Enclave Academy. Hmm, this seems like a waste. We'll do Enclave Academy. That should help us maintain legitimacy of our government, or rather, domination among our population. That's good enough. Let's also reduce administrative shifts, because that's gonna give us a lot of stability, and stability is gold for everything. And keep some Podcon power in reserve. For this, I can't core new Reno. Interesting. Well, let's do that anyway. We will just not core new Reno, apparently. He's good, but he'll be purged and gives me elite support. The technocrat, though, he looks like Tommy K. Let's get him. Right, and save some Podcon power. Remnants wish to return. Excellent. Yes, sure. Elites will get some more popularity, but that's temporary. Traitors among our scientists. That's unfortunate. What else? Secrets stolen. Justification for a crackdown against the opposition. Do we want to do that? Probably, yeah. Plains about the Russians. We can ban the Russian cheese. We could get a water support on this. No, we don't ban the cheese. I mean, this seems like a good choice, but I'm going to not do that. We can get war support quite easily for political power. Fist fights. We can lose stability, lose support and get political power. Let's get that political power. All oh, right, we got more troops. Almost ready to conquer new Reno. So we did get a justification for a crackdown. What is that crackdown? What can we do with that? We lose stability and... Huh. It's not that good actually. We lose stability and manpower. And the Colonel Mary Owich. Which one is that? Oh, she's good. I don't know, but we have this under control. Their support is going down. Down the presidential victory speech, what's next? We could provoke the purists, but we don't really need to. Let's reach out to centrists. Boost our field marshal. Get extra planning speed and smooth docker. And extra attack. Oh, can't do that yet. We have no money. Wait a minute, I'm supposed to be gaining caps per month. I'm having, I have nothing. Could use the military factories. Major General Grin speaks out in favor of Anders. Oh, that's unfortunate. We are charismatic. We could speak to him personally. All right, I'm going to risk this. Speak to him. Ah, damn it. Traitors in the officer call. Treacherous officers. Where is that? Enclave officers. Can't remove it. So we are gaining support. It might be fine. Maybe I... Oh, purists out numbers. I have to deal with that. All right, let's do that crackdown thing. I think I have to. I really want to. But we can always do wild promises if all else fails. Questions about NCR. What's that? We promise not to make compromises with the NCR. Or we could dodge the questions. Yeah, let's, let's dodge the question. Question about mutants. There'll be no integration with the mutants. Or what about the mutants? Yeah, I know. My support's going down. Question about ghouls. No integration with the ghouls. Let me explain the, the, the difference here. And the brotherhood. Once again, I'm not going to promise anything. Well, I could break the promises later. Okay, let's promise not to fight alongside the Brotherhood of Steel. Right, so if I'm about to lose this, we'll just do world promises and all will be fine. We've reached out to the centrists. We can't do consolidate power yet. So that, that is what? That's spies. City of crime. Oh, 15 days for the NX war goal on New Reno. Well, then me justifying the war goal on New Reno seems rather pointless. You know what? Let's attack them while they're weak. City of crime. Do that one. Work assignment's done. Combat language. Lots of people attacking lots of people. Are we still hidden from the NCR? Yes. Should we arrange a disappearance? City of Crime is done. Oh, interesting. With this we would move to New Reno, get stability and all that, but I actually switched my... where was that? Reorganized remnants, yeah, that. Hmm. And I would lose that. Or maybe I won't, because I just can't change to that if New Reno is the capital. Hmm, looks like I have to move to New Reno. It'll be fine. Let's expand the Sierra Army Depot. Oh, we'll get infrastructure, and I'm building it. We'll get four, so let's reduce the amount we're building. Do we have anyone else who will give us support for the intellectuals? Ah, uh, we do, actually. Simon Garnet. can only get him if we do not have purged the opposition. It is gonna help us, at least in the short term. About the Chief of Navy? Same here. Loyal Reformer. A loyal Reformer, but incompetent general. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna shoot myself in the foot with that guy. We'll use the Offense Genius, but later. Right, and we now actually have a healthy growth of our support, but we are running out of time. Well, when they're about to outnumber us, I can always make one with promises. For now, time to declare war on a new Reno. Lawless Wasteland declares war on new Reno. I have no idea what that will mean. Where's the Lawless Wasteland? I don't think that's a thing. Maybe that's how they see us when we're hidden from the NCR? I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's kill new Reno with our amazingly powerful power armor-clad veterans. This should be easy. 
And those will look like it. Well, let's do crowd control gear. We'll need that. Major General Grimm speaks out in favor of Anderson. Again? Right, can I convince you again? Because if not, this is going to be terrible. Well, we could demote him. He would lose Purist, and we could increase him's rank again. Should I demote him and then just uh, boost him up again? He loses Purist, so yeah, let's demote him. And now I, can, I cannot promote him. Whoa! Shouldn't have done that. Apparently I should not have done that. All stats minus one. Well, that's terrible, and I do not have the points to promote another. Oh yeah, well, that was probably the bad thing to do. They do outnumber us. Fall of New Reno. Right, should I just force someone else? How about Yakuza? How strong are you? Not very. Or we could go after Modok, which is definitely easy to kill, but they are guaranteed by the Slags. Who are... what are they? Oh, we could go against Vault City. The earlier we do it, the better. And I think we are stronger. I think I'll go against Vault City once we're done with New Reno. At least we'll get some military factories. Let's remember the rig. And we're done with Reno. I'm actually going to annex everything. Hide activities from the NCR. 57 days. Well, actually, can I can I cancel this? Let's cancel this. And we can instead infiltrate the NCR, which will hide our activities. Or at least make it cheaper. Right, we took out New Reno. Time to justify on Vault City before they become strong. 210 days. That's fine. We need to produce advanced power armors, and we also need to produce laser rifles. The rest is secondary. Let's have a look at our... Oh, Lawless Wasteland. What is this? We have a subject of Lawless Wasteland, apparently. No, it's not visible. Maybe it's uh, a way to hide ourselves from the NCR or something. Okay, auxiliaries is not the best choice here. The best choice is militia. But we might be able to use militia with... Uh, what's the word? With dogs. Or even special units designed for that. Uh... What do we do? Wasteland pacification. Get me all that compliance. Right. For now, this is fine. Demand tribute from the jackals. Which ones are the jackals? Oh, down there. No, of course not. We'll reject. Should I justify on them rather than on Vault City? Well, I am already justifying on Vault City, but we can do two simultaneously. Shouldn't have threatened me, jackals. Now you shall be eaten by jackals. Or something. The federal budget. Replace no currency with bottle caps. We get standard wages. That's okay. Patrolling New Reno, what do we do? Gain legitimacy. Actually, legitimacy, I think this will be quite useful in the long run. So let's establish strict rules of engagement. We'll lose some more support, but that's fine. We can increase that quite easily. Deal with the Van Graffs. Make a deal with the Van Graffs. Hmm, this would lose me legitimacy. And I think, I think it's good to have this as high as possible. So I guess I'll make a deal with the Van Graffs before they flee New Reno. All right, I need to increase my support. Oh, well, this is temporary. It would be very unfortunate. Right, how about we arrange a disappearance and then hold a small speech? That should be enough. We're now more popular. We've infiltrated the NCR. And what we can do now is Enclave Radio. Or we could call in favors at the NCR. Let's have a look. 49 days. This should go down. Wait, did I mistake this? I thought this was the suspicion thing. I am misunderstanding something here. I'm pretty sure. I thought the cost here was the suspicion. Well, let, let's take the decision, and then maybe it's this that is reduced, the times that it's been taken. If so, then I might have made a mistake. You know what, I'll figure it out as we go. Enclave Radio for Port Copala and John Henry Eden, who's not actually our president this time. Now, I need a field marshal. It's kind of, of a pity that I demoted the guy. Maybe I could have reasoned with him, but uh, couldn't really risk it. Now we need command power. To get a field marshal. We'll see if uh, a riot crowd control uh, enforces with DOT will actually be that good. And we got our economic node of New Reno, so we'll have the money now. We'll even bribe the NCR when that comes into play. Enclave radio done. Let's add old world radio, even more political power. Thread defects to the troll warren. Chief Thread of the Immortal. Not our problem. Who's the winning tribute again? Yakuza. They are the next in line. Or we should have killed them before Vault City. But the Vault City is something we definitely need in terms of resources. Right, we've done the mongrels. Should probably get the better recon kit. We don't need it for my power armor, guys. Oh, no, this first. The Long March. Do we have enough to promote someone yet? No, we need 40. And I might actually promote Lauren, because I have not invested in her yet. So we have a lot of trades to pick. Hmm, Old World Blues or New World Tunes? Actually, this is a consumer goods factories reduction, which is pretty potent. I am increasing my consumer goods with the guy that gives me political power, but I can fire him when I have enough. Then again, um, political power is very important in this mod because you can just core territories. Also, where the hell is my arms workshops thingy? In New Reno somewhere. Now let's do New World Hopes. Even more political power. Because political power is important. Okay, so NCR suspicion is this bit. Right. 
Good to know. Stuttering reports. Wait a minute. Delete prodig prodigal, prodigal Son's armor division template and remove all units created by this template. All those legitimacy. Uh, which one is that? Rapid response. PA. Prodigal Sons. That's this one. 10 power armor. Can I switch it to something else? No. Huh. Oh, this is also Prodigal Sons. You know what? I'm not sacrificing a large chunk of my army. We'll get legitimacy in other ways. I need this army to expand rapidly. Music Vault found. Cool. War support stability or intellectuals and stability or political power. Actually, getting intellectuals uh, high support is pretty difficult right now. It is increasing, but hmm, political power or support. Okay, this is 5% or 100 political power. Hmm. Actually, I need some more support for intellectuals to get rid of the scientists and the officers. So I will temporarily promote old world nostalgia and boost doctrines. How much support do we have? 48%. And it's growing, which is good. Should we send out some spies to California? Yeah, it yeah, should. And let's get the scavenging program too. Crowd control gear is done. So we can now design a unit. What is that? Here. The rioters. Should be very good at suppression. Better than militia. And if we add dogs, they will be even better. What if I made them... <laughs> I have some ideas, but I don't have enough army experience. What if I just replaced militia with rioters? Oh, actually, militia is better. Really? Looks like militia is in fact better than the riot police. Infantry equipment and infantry armor, and this takes just some infantry equipment. Suppression 8, suppression 9.2. Yeah, so this takes a bit less manpower, but much more equipment. What if I just added the dogs to militia? That would work wonderfully, I think. But I have no factory, so I can't even produce dogs. Militia will have to be that for now. Mm, do we want to do enclave propaganda in NCR. That will increase intellectual support, and intellectual support in NCR means the president that we had in the last playthrough. And there is actually reconciliation with Enclave in that path. Dreams of the old world. See, this amnesty. Oh, it might be worth it. Although it does not seem that urgent. Can we control their power yet? No, not yet. What we can do is deal with the families of Reno. With the rights, I actually like them in Fallout 2. Or the bishops, interesting but ruthless. The family of New Reno, which one is that? Well, the rest need to be eradicated. Well, let's maybe befriend the rights. Perhaps we can do that. So, actually, I want to know. Where can I get some factories from Reno? Definitely not yet. All right, but with a new capital, we'll get cores all, all over the area. It should be sun. Uh, fine. Dealing with the rights. Um, I'm going to... Hmm, this might be better. But let's roleplay this. I would actually want Crystal Wright to be on my side. Where is he? Here, Captain of Industry. Excellent. I'll probably hire him, but let's wait a bit. Now, the bishops. Bishop is treacherous, although he's also very intelligent. No, we will not. <laughs> Did Dan wants tribute from on the enclave? Yeah, sure. We just have to kill them afterwards. Dealing with the bishops. The bishops may have been the most powerful family in New Reno, and Bishop is a dangerous man. Minute. Which bishop is that? Is that the bishop that's the son of the Fallout 2 protagonist? It might be. Why does he look like granite? <laughs> they might be brothers because the chosen one, you know, did some stuff. Or we can apprehend him or get the assets and that's tempting. But this is probably kind of unique. So let's do this one. Why does he look like granite? Who needs crime when you have family? DNA test on granite along with the sample we collected from Mr. Bishop. Uh, they're half brothers. Excellent. This is actually <laughs> quite fun. All right. Who needs crime when you have family? Let's see where that leads us. The family of New Reno next up. Who is crime when you have family? And we become best friends with Mr. Bishop. Of course, G Granite's father is not Bishop's father, therefore their common fa father is the Chosen One from Fallout 2. And that shows that the Chosen One was both male and female, apparently. Alright, so what can we do? We can actually disguise ourselves as New Reno in order to hide from the NCR better. That's an interesting idea, and I think we will do the, just that. We're currently Reno, but we still have the Enclave focus tree, that sort of thing. Now, do we still have the NCR suspicion thing? We do. Those of New Reno. Reduce resistance target, get political power and money, or get legitimacy. I'm getting legitimacy. We can now demote purest scientists. Let's do that because they're hurting us. Our research will be damaged temporarily. We have treacherous officers, which is terrible. Yeah, we have to get rid of them. Since our research is so very terrible right now, we're also going to tank it even further temporarily to get a war spot. Although stability is more important, but yeah, let's get some of that too. Now in the next focus, what shall it be? The new capital. We're about to get some nice cores. Better research, please. The new capital. 
Now, some events. The people will now be the Wastelanders. We shall pick the option that gives us legitimacy. New Reno's slaves. We can get slavery. We can do Vault Cities slavery that's just named not slavery. Or we do not want slavery. And we do not want slavery. That means 18 legitimacy. Nice. Oh, we can get some nice war goals through here. Cheaply. Yakuza and the Den. That's for Modok. Jackals and Vipers. Right, so, once again, the justifications that we're doing are unnecessary. Well, except Vault City, I suppose. But we'll continue doing them. Oh, we can just get Vault City annexed with this. Huh, interesting. We don't have 300,000 bottle caps, but we soon might. You know what? Maybe we'll do that. We'll not have to declare war this way. Once again, that would be wasted political power. Ah, Reorganized Remnants was actually removed. This is unfortunate. Oh well, we didn't need new re you know, so we'll just do Fools and Dreamers when it's acceptable. It's not like manpower is a problem for us. I thought it would be, but it isn't. But since those are cores, yeah, we finally have factories. Excellent. I will not be cancelling my justifications, since I already paid for them and I'm not getting that money back, or rather those points back. We have insufficient support to do what we need to do, but our support is now naturally growing. So it's going to be absolutely fine. The followers of the apocalypse. Um, we can allow the followers to establish themselves. I mean, the followers do boost your research a little bit. They're, but those decisions that are portrayed as powerful are actually pretty terrible. Unless the submod changes that. So I will let the followers come and see what they bring with themselves. Can I bribe the raiders even though I do not have the caps? Let's do that, please. Seems like this justification will be unnecessary. We're gonna bribe some raiders, like Bishop used to do in Fallout 2. Spoilers or something, but this game is probably as old as some of you, so I don't think the spoilers matter. Oh, actually, since the amount of caps we have doesn't seem to matter for that focus, so I might go into the negatives. We'll just spend some caps. Though, is going into negative caps actually very bad for us? Oh, right, I have a trade node now. I should be able to establish caravans. Send one to Vault City. And we are about... Oh, can we have more than one? I don't think so. San Francisco. Oh, I just cancelled it. Yeah, Vault City's fine. Route already exists? What? All right, to San Francisco then. Oh, we can have two. All right, good to know. And with Vault City, we'll have a second trade node, which means our money will be... Very nice. It's a lot of money. Oh, right, yeah, I don't need you here. I should probably just send you to the NCR. We bribed with the Raiders and peacefully annexed Vault City. Excellent. That was actually very, very fast and easy. Maybe even too easy. Well, now my money is in the negatives, but not for long. Let's get the core on Vault City. This is a very powerful focus tree, and we finally have a lot of factories. Although I could have delayed the attack on Vault City, or rather the peaceful takeover of Vault City, uh, because they would have... I received even more factories from their own focus tree. But uh, no, I think it's fine. And we have nice support. Depot uncovered in NCR territory. Increase NCR suspicion and get some power armor. I'm actually gonna do that. That's the terrible type of power armor, the crappiest. But currently building new power armor is proving quite difficult. Although it will be much easier when we get Vault City because of their resources, or rather when we core Vault City. And NCR suspicion is not that bad. Although it's gonna be much more expensive soon because of the amount of territory that we hold. We can reveal ourselves to the NCR when what? Not for a while. Our new city is done. Do we need more power? Not really. And this gives me civilian factories, but I think it might give me civilian factories everywhere, which would actually be excellent, but let's get more territory first. Uncover the secret of Nevada and stuff there. Hmm. But we're currently justifying on whom? On the jackals. I don't need to do that. We can do that with the focus. So let's cancel that. We can do that with the legacy of Vault 15. But that can wait a bit. Can we do political stuff? Yes. Consolidating power. Let's do that. Can I afford to get a field marshal now? Yes, I finally can. Lauren Kelly. Rimmy. Really? Thomas Rimmy Rim. Ah, right, so we found Tommy K as an advisor. There's Rimmy here. Let's promote Lauren Kelly. Uh, let's promote Lauren Kelly to the rank of field marshal. And... He's demoted, he has all stats minus one, so even though he's level five, that's not very good. Well, I do have to hire Remy as a unit leader, there's no choice. Oh, even has the turtleneck. Let's hire Christopher Wright. Wait, did I do Vault City? Did I do the one that gives me a core there? Yes, excellent. Let's do Ballistic Fiber. It's gonna take a long time, but it's gonna boost our power armor troops quite a lot. Reclamation Authority. Whoops, I think I made a mistake. How much time hide from the NCR? Will I have enough political power in time? Um, yes, but let's not spend any more. Consolidating power, what do we get? 50 political power? Or 100, because we're charismatic, let's do that. And hide ourselves from the NCR again? Yes, sure. 
economic resurgence of the node of Vault City. New route, please, to New Reno. Can I do more? Looks like I can, in fact, do more. Let's do Eastern Passage as well. Three routes available. I do not know what governs how many routes are available. Oh, we can purge the officers and the scientists through this, but I'm already doing it through here, so I don't need to. Will that bypass the focuses? I do hope so. Oh, this gives me civilian economy. I don't really like that very much. Although, are we democratic? Are we democratic or not? Can we go to stuff like mobilization? We could if we had war support. So we can, essentially. I think we'll attack the Jackals and the Vipers first. So we'll get war goals on Modok, Jackals, Vipers, Yakuza and the Den from here. Alright, good. Let's get some war goals. Jackals, dead to threaten us. So they'll die. No enemy cipher. Let's uh, decrypt the NCR. Our economy needs to improve a bit. Need some more money. Anson holds a speech. We can stop him from getting a lot of support, or we can just let him get some support. Well, we'll get, we'll have over 50% anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much. But we'll be able to bypass these, good. Do we want to assassinate Anderson? I guess I can sacrifice 50 political power. Promotion from Frederick van Buren, or who is Frederick van Buren? Popularity of intellectuals or a general? But we are getting that popularity of generals anyway. I think I'll just take the general. Let's see if he's any good. Perhaps it was a waste, but I want to see. Oh, level 4. It was not a waste. Uh, sorry, Remy. No, I won't replace Remy. But he's level 2 and this guy's level 4. Right, you're gonna lead the next army. Actually, Remy, you'll give him half your forces. That's better. Well, establish themselves. Sure. We lose political power. This is terrible. Not to get more population. And I want to see if uh, this cyber mod improved the follower decisions, because they're supposed to be powerful, but they're not. Oh yeah, it's the same. They're not good at all. I should never have invited the followers of the Apocalypse, but it's too late now. Well, I will know to never make that mistake again. How high is NCR suspicion right now? 30. I'm going to American Dream. Hmm, where's American Dream? The American Dream, here. Oh, we can't do that yet. Right, where was I? Well, yeah, we want to reduce NCR suspicion, so let's call in favors in the NCR. Did you guys plan everything out yet? Yeah, let's attack on the Jackals. New Reno declares war on the Jackals, and is killing them very easily, because we are an army with advanced technology, and they're the Jackals. Let's invest in our industry a bit. It's slightly ahead of time, but not a big deal. And I guess I will start making dogs. We only need water for it, and we'll create a new division. Or rather, we'll actually modify the militia division. See, I want to maximize suppression per unit. So this has 8 suppression, so it's 2 suppression per a militia unit. Militia with the dogs is 11.5 suppression. However, if I reduce this so there's less militia and more dogs, 5.5 suppression for less manpower. So I have ideas. <coughs> Let's just save those two templates and see how this compares when it's recalculated. Alternately, the rioters, yeah, it doesn't seem worth it. If I just left one rioter with one dog, suppression would be slightly higher, but not significantly so. Right, so what we're gonna do is, although if you actually boost the technology with the rioters, it'll probably get much better. Where is that? Suppression bonus, 5%. Oh no, it's just for motorized enforcers. With better riot gear, it would give more suppression. No, I think that... Militia with dogs will be our best bet. So let's edit the militia, duplicate it. Call it small militia. No, sorry. Call it militia with dogs. Save that. Now duplicate it again. Call it dogs militia and dogs. And reduce its size to just one militia unit. So there's more dogs per unit. This is a wolf, but it kind of looks like a dog. So let's use that one. And when we go to suppression, I should have accepted the followers. Oh well. So this is going well. Extremely so. Why? Because we're bloody powerful. And they're not. Let's do anti communist propaganda. I yeah, really regret letting the followers in. Caesar has a legion is attacking people, but it doesn't matter to me. Secret burger. Sure. Ah, the cause of the Great War. He'll never repeat the mistakes of the past, or we'll never forgive the Chinese. No, we shall never repeat the mistakes of the past. 21% legitimacy. And increasing. Let's do old world propaganda. Perhaps we can turn the NCR more to our side. Oh, and it's led by Murphy. Good. Flexible command or flexible movement. Recovery rate, reinforce rate, port units boost. And this is breakthrough organization loss when moving. Speed. And special forces. We don't really care about special forces capacity because we have lots. We have tons of breakthrough anyway. Now, I think we'll be better off with flexibility of command. I might be making a mistake, but I think this is the right choice. Right, is that enough? We've bypassed drive out the Yakuza. Why? Did they declare war on me? And wait a minute, lots of people attacked and lots of people. The Yakuza just attacked me or something. Why did I bypass this? 
Where is it? Try out the Yakuza. Gain the next war goal against the Yakuza territories. Why did I get that war goal? I didn't. So why did I bypass the focus? This is weird. Shouldn't have happened. It's not that important. I'll just just found them. Now we can attack the Vipers immediately if we so choose. I think I'm going to so choose. Unfortunately, that also makes it more difficult to hide from uh, the NCR. Let's do home in Nevada and see where that leads us. Historical firearms. Yeah, I might be making a mistake attacking all those people. Sky High Joyride. Private vertebrate of Mr. Bishop. <laughs> That's fine. Maybe we should leave the Vipers alone for now. Right, and I was supposed to check. See? Dogs militia with dogs and dogs is the most efficient way of doing the garrisons. So we shall do just that. Do I have enough dogs for the dogs and dogs template? I do not. Let's quickly get more dogs. We only have three states, so it's 30 political power every time. Sorry, four states. 40 political power every time we... Hmm, slow down the NCR. Perhaps I shouldn't attack them just yet. Let me just check where this leads. If we do that, it doesn't actually open up any more focuses. It's just a war goal. Hmm. Yeah, let's wait a bit. Vault City was very important to attack, but I might have jumped the gun on these two a little bit. I'm going to reduce administrative shifts for extra stability and reduce research shifts for more war support. And same for production shifts, because I want that war support. And those are temporary measures. It will not damage us in the long run. Home in Nevada opens up some opportunities, I think. Ah, this. US Ordnance. Lots of, lots of power. Water Science Center. Lots of stuff. But we're not ready for that yet. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on attacking more people for now. If I conquer them all, I could do rebuild the power grid. But I think this only applies to my core territories. Let's do the Enclave Police. I saw it's necessary for some other thing, so it'll be good to have it. How are the logistics? We have a lot of power armor. I think I'll be able to afford another unit soon. Or we could expand these to be bigger. Come up with 20. This is 25. I think 20 will be nice. Then again, in this mod, actually, small units fight quite often. So the smaller template will be quite alright. So I can just train rapid response divisions. So I do have the power armor for that. And we can make them bigger later on if we so choose. Train them up and prioritize garrisons. Need more dogs, but I'm working on it. Dog per day. That's some quick breeding. I'd be conquering them faster if it wasn't from the NCR. I think we do need to stay hidden. Enclave police. We could get legitimacy and political power, losing stability. Or we could lose legitimacy, but gain Gain political power, political power gain, and that's forever. This will actually counterbalance the loss from the followers of the apocalypse, who I shouldn't have allowed in. All right, I'm going to sacrifice some stability, uh, some uh, legitimacy. We'll gain it through other means, I think. Amnesty for service. Not sure if it was the right choice. Oh, cool! I can force the Lost Hills to attack the New California Republic. I can force them to take the Mojave territories. Yeah, there's quite a lot of options we have here. I might actually do that. Although this is not that urgent, I suppose. Actually, let's invest in the Sierra Army Depot a bit. Dig deeper. Build up infrastructure in Vault City and factories. Civilian factories are quite important early on. And New Reno as well. We'll have a very nice economy soon. Mojave Territory attacked the Mojave Brotherhood. Okay. Oh, is the Healy's one thingy. That's fine. Siege of Hidden Valley. Right, I need 125 political power to hide myself from the NCR. I think I have to hide myself from the NCR, that is. Expand below. Excavate and expand, or knowledge is the greatest treasure, but is that a choice down here? I suppose knowledge is more important. Oh, we got the focus for free. All right, cool. So we get a special forces tech. But we can still get the other option uh, through here. Right, I get it. Scavenge the surface. We have 65% support. It's growing. A raider attack. We can get political power and war support, or we can sacrifice manpower and get legitimacy. Legitimacy, I think, is very important. So let's sacrifice some manpower. Our power armor is special forces, so we should be investing in this here. Yeah. Should I get more dogs? Maybe two factories will be sufficient, but I do plan to expand more. Now, two factories for dogs, five factories for armor, and the rest for guns. Should do. Strike the surface. Let's get these automated defenses up. Oh, wow. Power armor production costs minus 30%. This is gonna be amazing. Yeah, I really need that, don't I? Am I done with demoting the scientists and such? Shouldn't I be? Swiss source followers. No, treacherous scientists. This was supposed to be removed. I'm pretty sure treacherous scientists was supposed to disappear after I did the decision that reduced my research speed. I might have been mistaken, but I don't think so. It's really strange. No, we still have treacherous scientists and treacherous officers. Well, that's very disappointing because I was pretty sure those decisions were supposed to remove them. We'll lose a lot of stability if we do these. Oh well, I don't think I can do anything to circumvent this. 
I do not have the spillery treasure scientist. Let's complete the Nevada science division. And the alternative here is should bypass. Yeah, well, I think this bugged out somehow. This should not, this should be bypassable for me, but, uh, oh well. Oh, sorry. They have to be demoted by decision in order to purge them. So, yeah, I had to do the thing in order to activate the focus. This is gonna cost me a lot of manpower and stability, which is a pity. Let's hide from the NCR. Again, she stayed to join the NCR. Yeah, I shouldn't have conquered these guys here. Was that? 500th birthday. Well, let's get more legitimacy. That was that. Unfortunate news. Increase NCR suspicion or get more popularity and more NCR suspicion and more political power or reduce popularity. Yeah, it's fine. Ask them to turn it up. More pre-war songs from Vertebirds. We can reduce NCR uh, suspicion with the focus in a moment. Yeah, really shouldn't have gone and conquered these guys. Yeah, well, we've purged the scientists. We'll reduce their suspicion with the raiders uh, once it grows a bit more. Wait a minute, suspicion is 25, so I should be able to do that focus now. Is it 25 or higher? It is 25, so it, I guess this must be a little mistake. Must be just higher. That's fine. Let's purge the officers. Sadly have to. Was that? Oh yeah, must ha Mr. Handy Divisions. Here we go, Remy. Oh, with Enclave Academy, I have to deploy them at at least 85% training. Huh, yeah, that's fine. This can be easily circumvented by just, you know, making smaller divisions and then turning them. I could just deploy militia with dogs and switch them to power armor. But we're not in a rush. I could just switch all the units we have to power armor. Justification for Yakuza is ready. Yeah, I forgot I was doing that. How long until this expires? September. Mm, might have been an error. Yeah, I, I should not have justified and better to attack them. But I don't want the war goal to expire, so I will, in fact, attack them. Let's boost our field marshal. Yakuza is pretty powerful as our enemies go. We'll manage, but still. We have purged the officers. Now, if the support drops, and it is dropping, so it will do it on its own, I can then assassinate the guy. Excavate. Lower levels. Get me some level, uh, <laughs> la laver lifers. Yes. Laser rifles. Moreno returns as a high command available. Nice. Welcome home, soldier. More research boosts. It's a pity I have to keep hiding from the Enclave. Sorry, I'm the Enclave. From Ancia, of course. Root Crimson Caravan. Cause diplomatic incident with the Shi. Well, actually, I can do a lot against the NCR. Let's rebuild the Sierra Depot airstrip. And boost ourselves a bit. Is that Utah problem? Something with the 80s. I don't want to fight them yet. I think I should get more stability. Reduce administrative shifts. Okay, this is 100 political power for... Uh, I did calculate this. 17.6 stability. How about work conditions? Yeah, it's better to reduce the shifts. Get more stability. Could get small spots as well and make our economy better. Dr. Henry returns. All right. Caravan ambush. Do we want to pursue the ambushes? Sure. Dr. Henry, what do you give us? Where is he? Compassionate doctor. Population attrition. A lawyer war spot. Uh, maybe not. At least not yet. Can we deploy you yet? Almost. Would be nice to deploy them before attacking Yakuza, but it's not a necessity. We've rebuilt the airstrip. Can I assassinate the guy yet? Not yet. Let's restore the reactor then, on the Sierra Army Depot, which is one of my favorite locations in Fallout 2. Very challenging. Well, depending on what level you go there, but still, it can be very challenging. Let's use our boost to get this fast. Right, time to attack Yakuza. Yeah, I shouldn't have justified on them. Should have kept my territories small. It's going well. As expected. Adaptive chain of command. We restored the air reactor. Let's uh, wait with our next focus because I want to reduce NCR suspicion with it. Oops. I was hoping Yakuza would surrender a bit later because this is going to increase our costs. We could make them a puppet, I suppose, but no. Enclave rules direct. Because of the states, it's going to be even more expensive. Yeah, we'll have to do that again. <laughs> oh, did the suspicion not go up? Wanted to do the raiders, but their suspicion is not high enough for this. Do I need to stay hidden? I'm not sure. I think I probably should. Our new base of operations. Get me more power armor. New base of operations complete. Can I assassinate him yet? Yes, I can. Let's do that. Do I have caps to bribe the NCR officials? Well, I could. Oh, if they're in a civil war, it doesn't matter. Interesting. I think I will cause the civil war soon. Let's spend some money. I have lots of it. And then hide activities from the NCR. Once again. It's getting more and more difficult. Let's spend some army experience to get better recovery rate for my power armor units. Ah, excellent. Units are ready. Actually, you should all exercise. We do have some vertebrates. Do close air support. And what else can we do? Air supply. Yeah, that'll help a bit. Assign them to the main unit. Can we assassinate Anderson? Oh, our stability was maxed out. Well, no longer. He seems to have survived. Well, hopefully he will not come back. And we can finally finish the purge of the opposition. Boris T. retires. Is that an advisor we're using? Oh, he is. 
It will no longer be needed, so it doesn't matter. Purge the opposition. We have to. And then we should incite a civil war in the NCR, I think. Remy falls ill, really? Pursuit, yay, we caught the people who stole from us. Send out some prospectors. How are we doing industrially? We're doing okay. Yeah, I shouldn't have attacked Yakuza and these guys here. Oh well. At least we'll get a lot more political power once we purge the opposition. Yay, laser rifles. Do I need more stability? Actually, my stability is pretty good. We have purged the opposition, finally. Now, there's a choice. The American dream, we rebuild the nation. Our home is Nevada, which... In relations with NCR and actually remove the need to fight them. Might be nice. I think I'll need to have to cause a civil war in the NCR. Yeah, my biggest mistake was to take these guys. Wait a minute, if I actually release them as puppets, because I could do that, the jackals and Yakuza, maybe I could reduce the cost? No, it's fine, it's fine. Let's buy the bullet, we have done what we have done. I have to pay the price of still hiding from the NCR for a while longer. That's artisan guilds. Yeah, I got some caps. How did I forget this? Golden Gecko. Political power gain and stability. Yeah, let's get the Golden Gecko and probably the Power Armor Manufacturer as well. Into the blizzard was that. Down the Mexico way. Should we explore the AI? Lalox Energy Programs. Sure. Well, let's send an expedition to Mexico. Oh, we have defectors flag to the Legion? Really? Anti-integration of faction. Stability, popularity of elites. It's not a problem. Oh, I'm not getting reformist boosts anymore. That can actually be a problem. I'll sacrifice some stability. It's pretty high anyway. Time to get the Vault City University. Oh, I did a bit too early. It's fine. Extra legitimacy. Our flag is still here. Extra stability or extra war support. Actually, our stability is pretty high. This is base stability, so it'll persist. Let's get base stability. We can get war support the other way. Mutant question. This is actually an interesting focus trip because normally I'd like to, you know, united we stand, get all the mutants. However, if we go with segregation, we get access to a whole bunch of very sophisticated technologies. So that's something to consider. Oh, we can get cores. Good. We should. Just 15 days. Let's do that. The heart of the storm. Okay. Proceed with Operation Sam Houston or Guadalupe Hidalgo. All right, that, that will actually let us research robots quite extensively. All right, proceed with Operation Guadalupe. All right, I think we have messed something up. Santa Anna will <laughs> quick blame the Brotherhood of Steel. Yeah, let's do that. But we did get sophisticated robotic tech, so good. I don't really care. I can kill them later, probably. All right, uh, hide activities from the NCR. Oh, hmm. It's a lot of political power, so much. Ooh, let's do Secrets of Area 51. And oh, that's just a war goal for Sky Reavers. All oh, right, because we don't own it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was a blunder on my part. Energy weapons or power armor? We could get power armor with the major business and pre-war design with plasma weapons because we have those. I still need a way to activate... where is this? Advanced Power Armor Mark II. I'm not sure where to find Advanced Power Armor Schematics. Oh, maybe you can get it through the Sierra Labs, that would be nice. We've enforced American culture with the Yakuza, right? Where, where is that? I still preserve... oh... Yeah, I could have done preserve Japanese culture, and we would get Yakuza honor, which might have been better for us. I did not think of this. Let's do Enclave Propaganda. I'm not sure what it does. I want to know. Or alternatively, can we do the Raiders now? We cannot. Yay, yeah, money! Death Claws, unfortunate. More war support than legitimacy, or stability and legitimacy. Yeah, let's get war support. Should actually let me boost my economy to war economy. But first, there is a focus that switches me to civilian, so I should do that first, so we don't get switched back to civilian economy. Which one was it? Something with Nurino. Oh yeah, the first brick. Let's do that one. I really did shoot myself in the foot with the jackals and the Yakuza. Oh well. Well, when they're in the civil war, which I intend to cause, I will have free reign to expand over here. Or I can intervene in their civil war and try to destroy them. Arcade Gunnon. Cool. Uh, what sort of an advisor are you? <laughs> oh yes, Arcade, you are very welcome. If I needed to allow the followers of the Apocalypse to have him, I don't know if that's the case, but if that's the case, then good. I'm no longer worried about political power. Let's hide from the NCR yet again. We're making a focus and making 2.29 political power per day. Now, can we actually core stuff, or do we have to do it through other means? We probably have to do it through other means. Continue. Researching. Walking tanks. Exactly what we need. Heavy special forces. I'm wondering if I should just equip everyone with power armor. Well, not the robots, but everyone else. I might, that would preserve manpower. The New California Republic is in our border, but I think we're in Urino, apparently. 
and stage some raider attacks against the NCR. So we have Tommy K. Oh, he's also named Thomas Kesselhut. We have Tommy K. We have Remy. Are we going to collect anyone else? Oh, we could get loyal officers, but that would give us daily intellectual support. Do we need to have daily intellectual support? We might be better off by just doing this. Political indoctrination, but that would drop our recruitable population and organization. So maybe I'll just... Uh, I'll leave it as is. I wonder when I can get this. If I can get this. Looks pretty much the same. And both are good. It's just this is slightly better. Arming Raiders. Unlocks the Arm Raiders decision. Sending infantry equipment to factions bordering the NCR to reduce their suspicion. Uh, that will sacrifice some legitimacy, but I do need to keep hitting, hidden for now. Well, I need to beat up the NCR, but I, what I also need to do is... Where is it? Uh, here. Do Fortress Sierra. Well, essentially I need the power armor thing more, but I don't want to get it too early because I'd like to use this bonus on Advanced Power Armor Mark II, so I'll do Sierra Labs. Because with this, um, I don't know what we'll get, but it's probably gonna be good. I'm hoping for Advanced Power Armor Technology unlock, uh, but something like a Research Boost would be nice as well. But love Hoover Dam. We have maxed out our stability almost, we need some more war support. We're gonna sacrifice some stuff temporarily, boosting our war support almost to the maximum. NCR attacks the divide. If the NCR is at war with someone, does my suspicion thing still progress? Yes. What we can do is arm some raiders, decreasing their suspicion. Sure, I can do a bit of that. We can also bribe their officials soon when we get the money. Because money is not that important in this game. The League of Citizens, what is that? 7% legitimacy we can get. Or we can unlock Lynette. Oh, that's also unlocks Lynette. No mutants allowed. All right, all right, let's uh, recruit Lynette. Rebuild all of America and Vault City's image, perhaps without the slavery. Let's look at Lynette, where is she? Here she is. War support, research speed, just for Wogo. She is awesome, but she gives daily elite support. So we can hire her, but if we do, we need to do something to counteract that. I'll think about it. All right, we got bonuses for laser weapons. Let's use that. Although, it's probably a waste of time because we'll be getting plasma technology soon. Sierra Labs. All right, what do we get? Research speed 10% or another research slot. 10% uh, is not worth that. See, first the percentages are additive. So if I have bonuses that equal, what, that's, that's 17% when we remove the negative, it wouldn't be 100 times 117% times 110%. It would just add up, so that's actually less of an increase. And a research slot is essentially plus 20% multiplicative. So research slot is better. I'm not sure if that made sense exactly, but all you need to know is extra research slot is better than 10%. Unless you have some specific technologies that you absolutely have to research quickly. But we don't, really. I need to unlock this, and I don't know how. Maybe I'll need to just send enough scavengers to find an unlock for it. Now the problem is, I want to do the boost to power armor, but the 10 years ahead of time penalty reduction bonus will automatically be used on the next thingy I use. Oh, although, I wonder, I might actually be able to research the one I want if I have enough army experience, because, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? I'm thinking and talking at the same time, which is not always good. I, I was actually able to click this. This might be a bug, or it might just spend the army experience and not research the thingy, but it might also just research the thingy. So I think I'll try and do that once we get the bonus and army experience. So let's do streamlined power armor production. Even if we don't research a thing, we'll get... 30% cheaper for armor research. I would like this West Tech schematics. Or alternatively, plasma weapon design. For now though, NCR is the biggest threat around. Militia training. Six research slots, which is great. All right, and now I can actually afford to boost my spy agency for the first time in a long time. Oh, we could boost our power armor with this. Probably should. No, let's wait a bit. It's good to have some political power banked. Wars of old growing. Those decisions are very powerful. The Legion overrun the Mojave, really? That's surprising. Well, the NCR, my greatest enemy, is going to be in trouble soon. I might actually be able to start a civil war there. Streamlined power armor production is done. And I would get Gauss weapons with this. Plasma weaponry, sophisticated all technology, implant access technology, plasma weapon production, new Spartans, Gauss weapons. How oh, so much is available here? I don't really want to do it that way. Crack the NCR code. I think we need to start gearing up for war against the NCR, although I don't think we can handle this war at the moment. But there will come a time where we just can't spend the political power to keep hiding from them. Oh, right, I forgot. War economy. Excellent. For NCR to bring the Mojave under their control, but the Mojave has fallen. So that's a waste. Let's do the Lucia incident, which will let me put them to war against 
the Brotherhood of Steel. The Silver in them Hills. Can I get money from this? Let's see. Weekly stability loss. Who the hell would go for this? No, of course not. Extra population. Oh, it was a bit of a boost. Baseball. Do we care about baseball? We do not. However, we care about legitimacy. Spies compromised. Oh no. Well, why? I need those spies. Let's extract them via vertebrate and send out new spies. I'm gonna need them. Oh, I probably should have done this first. Lucia incident. Yeah, we'll do that soon-ish. Operation Babylon. I think we'll hide one more time, at least. But if we put them in a civil war, uh, we can either just expand on our own without worrying about them, or we can try and, you know, join that civil war to destroy them. Let's get some more war support. And yeah, okay, we'll hide from the NCO one more time, at least. Operation Babylon. Organized sympathizers. Perhaps I can use that to be a side in the civil war. That would be something. How are we doing with weapons? Fine. Reduce the amount of dogs. Increase the amount of power armor. How much do we have stockpiled? 300. It's not that much. More food. Let's hire the military theorist. I need that. Power armor scavengers. That's expensive. That doesn't take that much power armor. Sure. Arming patriots tutorial. Yeah, let's read that. It's rather important. Okay, so we decide to start the Californian uprising and they will then turn to our side. So this is actually explains a lot. We will be a side in the war. Excellent. Can I do it like in Shady Sands? Doubt that. Oh, it's here. Organized Patriots. Should I just do it next to my territory? Who's in a faction with you? They're still fighting the device, so they're not doing too well. Let's keep going that route. So when we do an old world uprising, we'll be essentially starting a civil war against the NCR. So we need to be ready. The forgotten men and women. Increase collaboration in the NCR. Cool. Actually, speaking of which, I should really invest in spies more. Haven't been doing nearly enough. We could actually do coalition government operations there. This won't work. Sabotage logistics. Better decryption. And more spies. Ah, uh, sure. Pegleg. Adja, Weasel Luke. Weasel Luke. Sure. There you go, Weasel Luke. Go to Shady Sands. Do I need more manpower? Kind of. But that would need outside volunteers and then the fools and the dreamers. But I can wait a bit. I can arm the raider gangs again. Well, I'm probably going to be hiding from them again. At least once. Because now I know I'm actually going to be a side in the Civil War. I need to be well prepared. They are strong. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt. How about we switch you to a power army unit? Inspirational. What else do we get here? Sniper. Jack Churchill. Commando and a sniper. That'll do. Switch you to power armor as well, because we have enough power armor. Purity or principle. Principle is gonna work much better for us. Infiltrate the enemy army. Prepare the Californian Civil War so I can launch it whenever I want. Caesar's Legion attacks New Vegas. So that's heating up a bit. Now, but since I have this, right, I should be able to research this. Because I need advanced power armor schematics, but I already have advanced power armor. So I think this might be a bug. Am I spending too much time preparing for my attack and not actually attacking? Might be the case. We're now ready to start an incident. Alright, I still need to do the Patriots thing. Wow, how did I not notice this before? Extra research slot. Yeah, that's because the, this focus tree just keeps expanding, isn't it? Uh, yeah, sure. We'll, we'll do the Department of Defense. Extra research slot is huge. How are we doing with that power armor? No, we can't change these templates. Prodigal Sons. That's fine. Power armor scavengers attacked. We're going for max quality, I think. Quality power armor team. But this just makes my armor less armored, even though it increases the research speed, so I don't think it's worth it. If we get West Tech, that would be worth it. Right, so I need these Patriots. I think we'll be best off if we just do them in the states that are next to us, even if they're not well industrialized and all that. Or, alternatively, we could snake our way to Shady Sands. Yes, just like that. Get some Patriots here as well. Surround their capital. It's not like they're gonna, you know, surrender when we take Shady Sands, but it should be helpful. It is expensive to do, though. All right, then we'll cut them in half with this. Good. Let's take these. These three as well. This will be a good base to start the Civil War. Although, to do that, I still need to hide from them for a bit longer. It's a lot of work and a lot of hiding, isn't it? Some oversight, please. Department of Defense. Since we have the Department of Defense, do we get the power armor thingy somewhere in here? Doesn't look like it, no. Only in the segregation. Here we get plasma weapons and all that, and here we get Gauss weapons. Very tempting. Probably not necessary. Can the bribe the officials? Alright, I've decided. We'll do this one more time, and now I can start attacking people. Because that's the last time I'm doing this decision. I think. Hmm, division organization and recovery rate. That's nice. We'll need that. Power armor production cost. Power armor integration. Lots of cool stuff. Oh, yeah, right, one more thing. Can I now, please, research my better power armor? Looks like I can if I spend this. No. 
God damn it, I can't. I should be able to. I have I have the technology, so I should have the schematics, shouldn't I? Feels like a little bug. Just make sure to not waste a bonus on any of these less important ones. Boost. Some more power armor units. Alright, I'm supposed to be doing focuses. <laughs> Let's get the war goal on Modok. Let's declare war on the Vipers, because we can. Oh damn it, I forgot to stop training my guys. Not a big deal. Conquer them, get me some army experience. As we're gearing up. Well, it's a pity Vegas was taken. Wonder if Mr. House survives. He does live in a bunker. Vipers capitulated, that was quick. Next up we have Modok. Those we have a war on. Sky Reavers. Do we border the Sky Reavers? And we do not. We need the Guardians first. Yeah, we annex everything. Now, Modok and the Slags, are you Nevada Free States? Which ones are those? Oh, the Slags are now Nevada Free States. That's fine. We just extend our front line to include them as well. Demand tribute. 80s. No, we will not be pushed around. Actually, probably do the Utah problem, because that relates to them, and I don't know what that does. We can only do that if we're not fighting them. We have done Break the Tribe, which means I can now attack Modok. Are you guys in position yet? No, we're not, so let's wait a bit. And we'll do the Den. Too. Oh, I need that political power. Oh, so it's just, uh, it's just a debuff of them. Sure, let's target the 80s. Holgood Murphy is president of the NCR. That's probably not too good for us. Although there's a lot of intellectuals, and I think they will be on our side. And they're still fighting the divide. Huh, not a good look. You've been fighting them forever. In position yet? Yeah, let's attack Modok. Their friends have been called in. Let's extend the front line and take everything. That was easy. We're still at war, which will also be easy. Guardians attacked Sons of Cargo, not my problem. Pursue the ambushers, and we go after the den in a minute. We're not attacking. We'll do Civilization by Force, because it gives me cores. And cores are nice. Next, everything, please. Is it time for the Lost Hills War? Not yet. Vault City University? School of Law. Extra, extra political power. That's gonna come in handy, definitely. We'll switch to outsider volunteers, and also to the Fools and the Dreamers, which gives me a lot more manpower. Now, next war goal is against uh, the Den. Should be quick. Will Jesus Mordino is the leader of the Den. That's interesting. You guys ready? Almost. Declare war. Now, she wanted to conscript to Mr. House, but since Caesar is going after him, there's not much we can do. Let's do military propaganda. Boost our divisions. And the Den is taken. That was very quick and very easy because we have trained soldiers in power armor and they have druggies with pistols. It would be very good to, for me to attack the Guardians now. Uh, there was something that gave me a war goal on them. I think it was with the spy tree. Yeah, this. 40 days. Ah, we've decrypted the NCR cipher, finally. And we're infiltrating the, uh, their military. They still can't conquer Hopeville, which is, uh, ironically, rather hopeless. Let's do the man from Seda. Seda? So we can move towards war goal on the Guardians. However, what if I just justify on you? 105 days, because they're in a major war. We didn't want the Sons of Kaga to take our prize from us. And I do have a war goal on the Sky Reavers, but if I bother Caesar, that could become problematic. The man from Seda. But what is Seda? Seda? Whatever. An enclave intelligence. Sure, sure, but what's Seda? Let's do this one, we'll get a war goal. Should we give Remy some skills? Actually, I am the Enclave, so we will basically only be using power armor. Let's give him Sniper, because that gives special ops attack and defense. And Commander, where is that? Here. He currently doesn't have any power armor, but well, he will. So much world tension. I want to arm the Raider Gangs. No, it's not important anymore. We're committing to this war soon. Uh, see, I researched power armor advanced servos. If I do this, I will waste my 10 year bonus that I want to use on this. However, I don't have the schematics for this, but we might get them. Let's do all these. I don't know what they do. What do we get? Energy weaponry research speed, infantry equipment production cost. Yeah, that's better. Solar project. Sure, why not? Lose legitimacy or gain legitimacy. Of course I'm going to gain legitimacy because I don't need more power. Water science center. Let the waters of life glow. grow. Uh, flow. <laughs> Let the waters of life glow would not be a good look. I should have done these a bit faster, shouldn't I? Route 95, where is Sierra Madre? Hijack the big circle. Freeing slaves and making money. Yeah, more population is good. Let's cause a diplomatic incident with the Shi. And we'll also do the Lucia incident, but we'll have to time it a bit better. Better laser rifles. I might do plasma rifles, but I really kind of want to integrate the mutants, because one of the major mistakes of the Enclave in the Fallout uh, games is that, uh, you know, the purity and supremacy route. If they integrate people around them, that's going to be much different. Because people are going to like them. I'm not talking about, you know, the moral side of things, although there certainly is one. I'm talking about public perception. 
and being the villain. Legacy of the DIA, Defense Intelligence Agency. Counterintelligence, oh, it's the same thing, as long as it prevents another rig. And this is perfect timing because these guys have just annexed a target, which will give me two bits of territory for the price of one. Declare war on the Guardians. Let's go down this path because we'll get more attack and defense. And we have some political power, we'll use it to get more Patriots, I think, if we do it at the right moment. Ah, their troops are not even here because they were fighting the other guys down south. Tools, better tools. Produce faster with better tools. Follow Diana. Not a problem of mine. Hmm, something went wrong here. Warrior code. Sure. And that too. Extra organization for special forces. Perhaps you guys should be more aggressive. Wartime draft. I don't need the draft itself, probably. I want the disciplined soldiers. Uh, we need the others for that as well. That's fine. Arms development. Make sure to use it correctly for industry technologies that we actually need. So, this and then this. Be a bit more aggressive. You do have the upper hand in everything. Let's kill them quickly so we can take the other guys out as well. Some prospectors, sure. And we will get the schematics I so desperately want. Guardians are taken. We shall take everything from them. TV Town can wait. Did I get a node? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Temporarily disabled. Sky River time. We're running out of time. NCI will discover us soon, but we'll be ready, I think. We're still fighting, Obvo. Rather silly, if you ask me. Attack the Sky Reverse and be quick about it. Better computers. Right, how much time before they realize what's going on? 60 days. Lucia incident activates after 30 days. Sure, I guess they want to win a war against the Brotherhood in 30 days. I'm going to activate the Lucia incident now, and we'll do the NCI radio, because I think intellectuals will be on my side, even if that increases the elite's popularity a bit. In the meantime, we get the Sky Reavers taken care of. Gearing up for war. Although we should be all geared up by now. They finally annexed the Divide. Hmm. Well, they still get it in my peace conference. There is no border here because it's all mountains, impassable mountains. So we'll have to only care about this bit, this bit, this and this. However, I did get Patriots in some of these places. And we'll get more still. But first, let's take out the Sky Reavers. Focus on Area 51, you guys. Can we do this before the fight with the NCR? We have to. That is going very well. Because they're weak and we're strong. Let's go to the North Passage. Economic Resurgence of the Guardian Citadel Trade Node, which is somewhere in here. There it is. We can route to New Canaan. Sure. Well, let's see what happens with the Lucia incident before I get more Patriots, because uh, when I was playing Mr. House, small spoiler, the Lost Hills actually got a lot of territory around here. Giving up for war is done. That's a lot of boosts here. Let's do Disciplined Soldiers for now. I want to see if Lost Hills get some, you know, quick and easy territory here. And even if they don't, they will provide a distraction. And Sky Reavers are taken care of. And Lost Hills declare war on the new California Republic. Right, 30 days until we have to attack them. Can I deploy new units? Yes, I can deploy some new units. Right, you guys just quickly go here for a moment. I'll relocate you soon. First, I want to see if the Lost Hills automatically get some territory in the next week or so. And it looks like they will not. At least they will provide a distraction, as I mentioned. Right, so now before we start the war, I want to get as many Patriots as we can. So, what did we take? Yeah, there's pages here. Around Shady Sands. Good. And let's cut them off so we can take the north first. That's this bit and this bit. Will their forces be automatically expelled if I take this as well? If not, this is a waste of political power. If yes, it's very useful. I think I'm going to risk it. And that's all we can afford. All right, now, our armies. We don't have a lot of troops, sadly. They're good, but there's not a lot of them. But the NCR is fighting the Lost Hills Brotherhood right now. That should help a bit. These guys will be the main force. Be balanced, get in position. And Remy, what will we have Remy do? I think I'll send him down south as well. Now, if all goes well, these territories will be reshuffled and I'll need to, you know, readjust everything and so on. That can wait a moment. TV Town. Oh, I probably should have taken care of that. It can wait. We're about to fight the NCR. We also awakened an AI down south and there's Caesar's Legion to take care of. So NCR might be relatively easy. We'll see. Perhaps I wasted political power doing the Patriots. How much time I ha do I have? 21 days. These guys are almost ready. I have some reinforcements. Specialist training. Let's hire Orion Marino. Because I don't need political power to start this. I'm actually even going to slow the game down. Okay, I think it's time to go. The Old World Uprising. Here we go. The Californian Revolution. New California declares war on Reno, And the six bits become mine. Gunters on the ranch, which one is that? Doesn't really matter. So, did they get automatically teleported? Looks like they did not get automatically teleported, which is gonna be a problem, but we do get rebel militias. Remy, you wanna lead some rebel militias? Yeah, you would. Let's pause for a moment. Yeah, we'll need to take care of these guys. I'm actually gonna send Remy to take out these guys and then move south. Oh, we even got dockyards, but we have, no, 
We don't. Now we have dockers, but we don't have ports, so we can't deploy anything. But we should be able to do convoys. They don't need to be deployed, but that's just, you know, game mechanics. It's not important. You guys, clean this up quickly. Actually, be aggressive, everybody. Yeah, be aggressive about it. And you, you can actually run to Shady Sands. Oh, there's a bear here. Could be a problem. We are at war with the new California Republic, who's rather big and strong. They're also fighting the Lost Hills, and my troops are very good. So it might be fine. Right, of course, the cipher. God damn it. They upgraded their encryption. It's fine. We can do further demoralization. Just 50 political power. We will soon attack more this is fine we just need to establish front lines and then we should be fine you go south towards shady sands how are you guys doing well enough let's give them some power more support that's better we just don't have enough units to make this efficient which is pretty bad all right redo the order oh now remy you'll secure the southern bit all right perhaps i sent too many over to shady sands but if we take shady sands that's gonna be a boon to us okay do your thing well, and you guys take that this is looking okay. The Lost Hills were the defining factor, I think. Still need Remy's forces to secure this. Specialist training is done. Let's keep it boosting our guys. Power armor integration. Actually, power armor for everybody. Ah, we can deploy extra units. Well, extra unit. Well, Remy, you're getting some reinforcements because you need them more than the other guy. Caravan armor, sure, whatever. Let's do further. Oh, we can requisition equipment. And uh, no. But we can further demoralize the enemy. Let's do that. Surrender limit. Well, we're very, very far from making them surrender. Why are we not moving? Yeah, power armor. For the win. Something went very wrong here. Ah, here you are. This order is not supposed to be here. Support the south more. And we almost got Shady Sands, because we sent a very powerful unit here. Well, Remy has to delay these guys. That's gonna be enough, I think. We also should get there to delay them. While our power armor battalions do all the actual work. The militia can't do much, but they should be able to at least hold them off. Fall of Shady Sands! Hall of Congress is the NCR's heart. We must sue for peace soon. Well, not that soon, but it will be a blow to their integrity and all that. Integrity is in the integrity of the country. Okay, some of them have scavenged power armor, but some of them have the proper one. New units. There you go, Remy. Have more power armor. I think we're doing well enough. Lost Hills is picking up the slack for us. Are. They are. We'll do new citizen care package to reduce resistance targets. At least we should have enough for garrisons. The cipher, finally. Activate the cipher. This is good, and we have trapped a lot of their forces here. All cliff power armor for the win. Yeah, definitely. Volunteers. Sure. Must really hate the NCR. Some radio boosts. All right. These guys and these guys, they're all trapped. Good thing we were able to get the she out of their alliance. And this is slow progress of the superior force. Actually, you guys don't need to be aggressive at all. New American army. Shady Sands remnants. Welcome back. If they petition to rejoin the Enclave, they shall rejoin the Enclave. And everybody's gonna be happy about it. Finish them off. Come on, keep attacking. And then Remy's soldiers can push here. Although maybe it will be better if I just... Flip them around because this is not well defended. And send the actually strong troops down south. White legs attack New Canaan. Yeah, we don't care about those petty squabbles here at the Enclave. Hmm, they have some power armor too. Not too much. Not enough. Oh, this is going quickly. Right, so what should we do? There's almost no resistance here. It's a pity to send my best units there. So, you shall go south. Well, Remy's guys, at least this part of them, will go north. And the rest will rejoin them once my power armor troops arrive here. And at this point, we've secured our footholds, we can go balanced. Oh, that's all the military factories we have now. What do we need more? Weapons or armor? Definitely armor. Rank and file infantry, sure. Boost them. Conventional warfare. We've got the technology, let's see what it does. I can't find it anywhere. Hmm. Well, it should be somewhere. Economic resurgence of a trade node. Sac City Remnants. Welcome back. Yes, everybody is welcome. And my troops have arrived. Excellent. What is my participation? 93%. So the Lost Hills won't really be able to get anything out of this. But they are helping. They are definitely helping. All right. All of Remy's forces can now move back here. Although, I think this might be sufficient. Now, let's not leave ourselves exposed. Take this and only then rejoin the sudden attack. We're now bordering Caesar, which should worry me, probably. Warrior code is done. Let us continue. Combined arms. Should we spend points on this? Probably. Then again, we can spend the points, the army experience points, on a drag boost. Let's not. These can only be bought with points. Healthy stockpile of power armor. And we're about to retake Navarro. Maybe we'll find the power armor schematics there. We probably shouldn't be called New Reno anymore. Right, boosted our army. Our reform general staff, maybe that could have helped me with the traitor officers. No, I think this only became available once I finished them off. Ah, 
doesn't really matter. Ooh, electronics boost. Although we would need sophisticated electronics technology probably. I'm not sure what I want to do next. Let's just get some political power so we can hire the offense genius. Decrypt the cipher again. You guys should be more aggressive after all. You don't need to be. We got Navarro back. Can we do anything with that? Hmm. Investigate some rumors. Sure. Oh, interesting. We can exchange command power for army experience gain. Let's do that. And scavengers. And raise intelligence budget. Sure, why not? We have the money. Hey. Brotherhood, you wanna, like, join the Enclave or something? You were helpful to us. I'm not sure if I should be going aggressive. We we'll probably pull it off. But I don't need to rush. We're winning. Launch calls are detected. Alright, we found a lot of stuff. We've liberated Navarro. We found launch codes for missile silos, and there are some in the device, so this might come in handy. Area 51. Plasma weaponry. Thank you. We'll get right on that. And East Coast Exiles. What do we have here? Chief of Air Force and some planes. Well... Vertebrates. I signed them all here. So now, I, now that we have plasma weapons, probably much better than what we're doing here. And probably much better than the laser rifles we're currently researching. Well, anyways, let's start making plasma weapons. So I need some composite materials. Can we buy them? No. It's going to be a bit of an issue. Yeah, that's fine. Remy's forces have finished their job. Excellent. I'll send him to the divide. Strike lost hills. Wait a minute. How much political power? That's a bit... Hi, ah, isn't it? I can just justify a wargle on them, can't I? No. Hmm. Oh well. Should I research the turbo plasma rifle? It will take four years. I think I'll wait until I get a bonus somewhere. I don't need to finish this research, theoretically, but it will lead to this, which is going to be helpful. So, platoon training it is. I really like uh, how certain factions get modifiers, like Enclave got boosts to special forces and power armor. Thus, it makes perfect sense for them to just do power armor units, like in Fallout. And Mr. House got bonus to Securitrons, so he did Securitrons, and so on. Now, it's time for Robin Robinson. Army offense genius. I'm not sure what to pick now, so let's just get some civilian infrastructure. The Chinese menace. Wargo on the Shi or she becomes puppet of New Reno. So of us. Do we need a Wargo or do we need a puppet? She becomes the federal state of New Reno. Lower tariffs. Um sure, whatever. They have a significant amount of troops. Then again, Enclave's thing is more like direct control of everything. Although the Shi are pretty cool, they have the Emperor who's a huge computer, it might be beneficial to us to have them as a subject. Let's try that. They're now led by Elder Francis. Oh, and their forces are quite formidable. So they help me with the NCR. Are you in the war? Yes, you are. Good, take that for me. What kind of puppet are you? Federal state. 10% of industry and military. It's also lowest waste and although it's not anywhere, so I don't know how it works exactly. But I don't need to know. Yeah, I think this was a good decision. San Francisco is gonna be our friend. Check down. And this bit here too. That was quick. I thought I had much more to fight. And I have 91% off participation, which means I can get everything I want. I could make some puppets, but that's not really Enclave style, is it? No, no it's not. So I shall just get everything. Especially Navarro. Lost Hills will have to endure not getting anything. Well, that's a lot of resources that I so desperately need. Submit demands and demand everything else. Well, also their navy. No, no, no. I'm getting everything. We're not sharing with the Lost Hills. And all is ours. Excellent. Okay, good. <laughs> we have some resistance. Do I have enough dogs? No. But if we lower our occupation laws a bit... Sorry, there's a lot of stuff going on. We've got territories. We don't need to do pacification. What if we go with just uh, extensive patrols? Is that enough? That's Unpause this for a day. No, it is not. What we need to do is go down to sporadic outposts, I suppose, and then produce more dogs. This will do. Also, we now have dog counts. So, yeah, convoys. We don't even have ship technology right now. No enemy cipher is being detected. Well, we don't decrypt it. We don't really have enemies anymore, do we? Well, Caesar is a threat. Let's send a spy there. Other than that, it's like a bunch of small annoyances, isn't it? No. Maybe I am too confident. Yes, we could release some nations, but we don't want to. I'm gonna cancel the civilian infrastructure focus we're doing, because only eight days in. And instead, some time has passed since the occupation. How much is some time? I wanted to do this one. Hmm. Oh well. Well, in that case, I'm gonna have to take a break, because I just noticed how late it is. I've been enjoying this so much that I recorded way past the time I should be recording. I think I'll deal with TV Town next. We'll see. But now I need a break.
Because normally I would say, yeah, that's the end. We beat uh, the NCR, the Enclave is back. And it's new Reno, but uh, I want to keep going. Hello, here's some post-commentary. I kept recording the Enclave, but at this point I had so much footage that I decided to split the video in two. And at a good point, I think. So I'm back at the menu just to talk to you for a moment. Thought it's a good point to stop for now, but there will be a second Enclave video where we take over everything around us. So thank you for watching. Let me know how you like this. Are we overpowered? Are we too overpowered? I personally do enjoy the Enclave tree quite a lot. Once again, let me know in the comments if you would like to see more Old World Blues, more other mods, or back to vanilla. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I will see you again soon. Goodbye.